3,000 German police arrest 25 royalists across the country. Will Germany ever see a return of their king? Right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I've got a, I've got a clip to show you in just a moment. Uh, this is probably going to be one of my worst videos. Uh, I've got a bog roll here in case I need to de-snot my nose. Um, I'm suffering from uh, a mysterious illness, and it's uh, funny enough because I've just visited my German embassy, and uh, unlike everywhere else in town these guys are still insisting that i wear face masks and get temperature checked before i went in to see my uh my uh embassy representative um this was just the other day and i walked out of that building uh after doing my business and um boy i i came down straight with cold symptoms not a flu or anything no fever or anything like that but it's uh it's really hit me pretty bad it's probably it's, it's the worst man cold i've ever had um and yeah face nappies didn't do a thing let's get back on topic now okay so i've got a few things that i want to talk to you guys about uh there's a realization here in this video that germany is still very much a royalist nation despite the democracy that's been imposed on it um following the two great wars um so I mean, there's a lot of disgruntled people in Germany uh, and uh, they've got uh, good enough reasons to go back to their monarchy um, as things are just steadily progressing and getting worse. Not just for Germany, but also the European Union, the West as a whole. Um, but yeah, I've got an article to show you and a clip, well, to read you and a clip to show you. I guess I should just show you the clip now. Um, it's basically the same footage that I was seeing in the embassy lo lobby the other day. Um, people were watching on Bemused here from South America. Um, I've got a very British accent just because I'm part British and I'm part German. And uh, you can tell from that palm there in the background that I'm not in Europe. I'm in South America. So my regulars know that. But if you're new to me, new to my channel, uh, that's a little brief bio. So let me show you this footage that I was watching. Um from the embassy lobby. Yeah, You see that? What a fuss. 
3,000 police, all uh, heavily, you know, gunned up, you know, protection, masks, everything, counter-terrorism, the whole shebang uh, went down just the other day. Um, shock raids uh, on what they call a group called the Reichsburger, which is basically uh, the Reich's people, for example. It, it, if you're not very clued up on this, uh, Hitler had the Third Reich. There was a First Reich and a Second Reich in Germany. Uh, these Reichsburger don't want to go back to the Third Reich, guys. Um, they want to go back to a um, a Reich based on the monarchy. Now, the main guy here that he wanted to take out is an aristocrat called Heinrich. He's Heinrich the Eighth. Uh, he's from Rus, basically it's not from the Prussian um, kingdom up in the north, although all these families are pretty well related, um, all with them, they got all different ties. Um, this guy, Hermine Rus, he stems from Hermine Rus, which is the second wife to the last king, uh, Wilhelm II. Uh, he got, he abdicated basically. Um, following the defeat of Germany in the First World War. Uh, he went into exile, but uh, rightly so, these guys and the heirs and the family, the monarch and, and all his people did not give up their kingdom all that easily. And his wife was still pursuing it with politicians, Nazis as well, because they were in power at the time, uh, but they carried on um, and they carried on to this day. I was actually gonna do a video about the sea change or the realization amongst the general public in Germany uh, with a release of a poll showing, you know, these polls are a little bit dubious sometimes, but it's basically continuing the trend and it's gone up to basically one in five working age Germans favor the return of the king, the return of a monarchy to the Germanic people. Um, and that's gone up, that's two in 10, that's 20%. That's, a, uh, that's an election, election winning percentage. Now, unfortunately for those Germans and myself, if you see my Prussian flag here behind me, um, is that democracy does not allow any other system, it, I'm talking practically here in, well, not here, but in Germany, here in the country that we're talking about, um, does not permit the furthering or even discussion or the possibility of having any other system apart from the democratic system that was instilled after the Second World War. Um, it's just, it, it's outlawed, it's against the constitution, uh, it's explicitly illegal so that's what they've got these guys on um, and they're trying to frame them as um, basically the Jan the 6th guys they're basically the German version of January the 6th um, so they basically hunted them down tracked them down I don't know telegram groups that I'm not even part of I'm going to go and search them out now uh, Reichstag so uh, Reichsburger is the is the term you should be looking for on Telegram. I'm going to do it right after this video. Uh, see what's hanging around there. Um, and the thing is, uh, yeah, this is a January. But the the funny thing is, is that the poll said two in ten working age Germans are in favour of of the monarchy. I think if more Germans were actually tuned into what's going on in the West and how Germany is basically going, how it's performing recently, uh, I think that number would be even higher if people were just more aware, better educated um, as to what was going on around them and didn't just tow the party line, the mainstream media narrative that is all geared up to champion democracy. And the unfortunate thing is, is I, I do think democracy is a great system. Uh, it's just that it's been hijacked and it's only as good as the people that are voting in a democratic system. And uh, we know that they've been uh, herded like sheep. So 
Uh, what can I say? What can we get into? I think we should get into the nitty gritty now, guys. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this BBC article. I'm gonna put an archive link to it down in the description. We don't wanna give BBC any links now, any sort of more notability than they deserve. But I think this is good because um, they've played up the threat real big, and I and I wanna, I wanna go with this. I wanna have a feel good factor. Um, because their outrage is basically a sweet musical sound to my ears so uh, let, let's go into this let me just find this place sorry if i sound all gunked up it's that cold it's that man cold that i've got um basically uh, it said i'm gonna cut out a lot of the um, narrative from the bbc here but basically it said uh, that this group has been plotting uh, a violent coup since November 2021 and members of its central rut it's like a council has since held regular meetings well good on these guys uh, and it is pretty much going to be ha have to be a violent coup because I'm not endorsing it but I'm just saying logically it is because doing it democratically changing Germany into a monarchist state is not actually allowed uh, in the democratic system that they have and I'm going to slam democracy at the end of this uh, because I've got something quite big to uh, make you guys aware of as to the agenda that's going on right now. But let's carry on. Uh, these guys, yeah, the, uh, this, this group, uh, they had already established plans to rule Germany with departments covering health, justice and foreign affairs. Uh, members understood they could only realize their goals by military means and violence against state representatives, probably against those who are enforcing democracy upon the citizens, um, which included carrying out killings. I'd probably say that they probably would have only killed if, you know, somebody just didn't get out of the way of the new coup. <clears throat> so, yeah. Well, it's good that they had these plans for, uh, you know, health and just justice and foreign affairs. I, I would think that's an obvious one. If you're going to take control of a country, you need to have a plan, don't you? Wouldn't really hold it against them for that. Uh, investigators are thought to have got wind of the group when they uncovered a kidnap plot last April involving a gang who called themselves United Patriots. That's in English on the BBC. I never heard of them. But okay, if they're patriots, I'm, I suppose they're all good. I'd much prefer patriots than uh, some kind of woke Marxist um, pushing uh, democracy further um, in their own interests. Um, okay, check this out. They they planned to abduct, allegedly planned to abduct Health Minister Karl Lauterbach. That's the guy who's been pushing mandates, jab mandates, like nobody's business, totally ignorant of the damage uh, and side effects, uh, while also creating civil war conditions to bring about an end to Germany's democracy. Civil war conditions, I suppose they're saying that those in favor of democracy would somehow take up a counter arms against these royalists. Just so you know, monarchy is the original form of the state in Germany. Democracy is uh, a newcomer to the scene. So uh, I think you guys have imposed yourself, to be honest. Uh, a former far-right AFD member of the lower house of parliament, uh, the Bundestag, is suspected of being part of the plot and of being lined up as the group's justice minister. Or well, there's AFD again. That's the political party, the right wing one, supposedly right wing, uh, that the left and the establishment absolutely hate. Uh, it's the party that I've actually switched to from the CDU. Uh, I used to be an ardent Merkel voter until she started importing the third world. Um, check this out. Birgit Malsak. You'll like this, uh, you Anglos here. Winkiman, that's her, her surname. Uh, who was among the 25 people arrested, returned to her role as judge last year and a court 
has since turned down attempts to dislodge her. Basically, you can't take her out. The fellow judges are standing by her, but she was apparently part of this um, restoration attempt. They call it a coup. I'm going to call it a restoration. Uh, a prominent lawyer was penciled in to handle the group's foreign affairs with 71-year-old Heinrich VIII as leader. That's the aristocrat. That's basically the heir to the throne. It would be the return of the king. Um, anyway, Public Prosecutor General Peter Frank said Heinrich was among the suspects whom investigating judges had asked to be held in custody. They're actually taking out Germans. Um, Heinrich VIII styles himself as a prince and comes from an old noble family known as the House of Rus, which ruled over parts of modern eastern state of Thuringia until 1918. Okay, uh, basically they're saying his dissidents still own a few castles and Heinrich himself is said to have a hunting lodge. That's pretty based in Bad Lobenstein in Thuringia that's the department in Germany so he's got a hunting lodge I'm liking this guy I'm liking the sound of it <laughs> um, they're claiming here that the family have distanced themselves from him trying to say he's a nut of some kind well if you're into democracy then probably monarchy does sound a bit crazy um, as well as a shadow government and if it would be a shadow government, it would be a ruling government if it was a coup. Uh, the plotters allegedly had plans for a military arm run by a second ringleader identified as Rudinger von P. They don't actually uh, spell out his surname completely. Uh, they were made up of active and former members of the military. Officials believe uh, and included ex soldiers from special units. Wow, sounds good to me. The aim of the military arm was to eliminate democratic bodies at local level. Prosecutor says, well, they would have to do that, wouldn't they? If they're going to do a coup. It's... I guess the BBC have got a point here. It is illegal um, uh, in the current system. I suppose once a coup was succeeded, they would just turn it, the, the law around and it would become legal. So uh, it's just a matter of perspectives, isn't it? Rudinger von P is suspected of trying to recruit police officers in northern Germany and of having an eye on army barracks too. Oh dear. Bases in the states of Hesse, Baden-Württemberg and Bavaria, that's my state, um, were all inspected for possible use after the government was overthrown. Oh dear, that's what officials have said. Well, obviously they're going to be in control of the army as well, aren't they? Uh, one of the one of those under investigation had been a member of the special commando forces. That sounds based to me. Uh, and police searched his home and his room at Graf Zeppelin military base in Kohl, southwest Stuttgart. Another suspect. I'm nearly nearly end here, guys. Another suspect has been identified as Vitalia B, a Russian. Oh dear. A Russian woman who was asked to approach Moscow on Heinrich's behalf. Oh dear, we got the Russians in here now. Given the climate in the Ukraine, that's uh, a buzz word that they needed to get. I suppose, I know that, that new foreign minister, he's going to need to set up some kind of links to other world powers, isn't he? Uh, approach Moscow on Heinrich's behalf. The Russian embassy in Berlin said in a statement that it did not maintain contacts with representatives of terrorist groups and other illegal entities. Well, they're not going to admit it, are they? Uh, what can I say? It goes on to state here that um, various far-right groups have been involved in terrorist activity. Um, nothing like the terrorist activity that Merkel's migrants have been doing. If you heard about those uh, little innocent... Uh, German girls that got happy stabbed on the way to school or from school to or from school um, it's funny isn't it whenever there is something going wrong with with the current liberal agenda 
they somehow pull out some kind of right-wing conspiracy terrorist I don't know group actors something like that happens and we just had those that happy stabby incident uh, with those poor little German girls I bet they would have liked a monarchy in charge and I guess that Heinrich was um, he f- probably felt compelled to make his move now he was 71 years old he's getting a bit old in the tooth uh, but he probably felt he needed to do it given the sea change that is happening all across Germany um, a law is about to go through that is going to grant all of 2015's Merkel's friends from the third world German citizenship German citizenship status um, en masse so something like a million two well uh, two point something million or something like that are going to be added to the German citizenship books <coughs> got a big one here to keep going guys um some people here are on the right are mocking that it's going to be hard to take over the reichstag uh, which is a uh, basic german parliament it's, it's going to be difficult to take it out with 25 people um and uh, you're going to have green fanatics screaming on the other end all upset to be honest if these guys would have got their coup through uh sorry their coup they're going to have to have a real problem with uh hissy fitting uh wokies just crying outside those military bases not letting the troops leave or do their coup stuff um it's crazy i i got i'm just looking through these notes i've got a list of all of the people arrested it's a tiny list there's like nothing there um any other bit of news that i can tell you I think that's about it. The thumbnail is of uh, Heinrich the Eighth, the king that was supposed to have returned but didn't. Um, I've got to say though, things are going to have to get a lot worse in Germany before a plot like this will see fruition. Things are getting bad in Germany, like I said at the start of the video in the EU, in Western Europe, all across the West actually, the situation is getting bad. And it's all due to, how can I say it? A globalist agenda, an atheist agenda, Marxist agenda, a progressive agenda. Basically the the attack is on in three areas. One, in the spiritual domain by atheistic materialism. In the political domain by democracy. That's the thing that Heinrich was trying to take out. Republicanism and liberalism. We all know those things are bad. Sorry, Americans, republicanism is bad. It's all part of the agenda. In the social domain by collectivism. That's the three areas, spiritual, political, and social. And right now, atheistic materialism, democracy, republicanism, republicanism, liberalism, and collectivism are all winning on every single front. Hopefully Germans stay true to themselves and we will see a return of the king probably a few generations on from now hopefully within my lifetime stay tuned for an announcement let me know what you think down below until the next video thanks for watching much love right guys a short little video here to give you a heads up uh, about a interview that I took part in with a fellow content creator. He goes by the name of Conscripted Orc. What a cool name. Uh, by the way, I'm just walking in the rain here. It's got really bad. I need some uh, wipers on these, uh, on these glasses. Anyway, uh, Conscripted Orc is a fellow content creator, much like myself. Very engaging, very thought-provoking videos. Um, and we met together online 
uh, for about an hour in which I answer questions uh, and give my perspectives on a whole load of issues, world affairs, um, topics and themes. So I'd like it very much if you were to check it out. You'd get to know me very well. Um, I'm going to post all of the links on his various different channels down below. So check him out. Much love.